Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. So, uh, today we're going to be talking about my, um, my arsenal and, uh, all the things that I have for my airsoft paintball. Pretty much just, uh, you know, survival. Um, so, uh, we're going to start off with the one, the only survival kit. Now this survival kit, I made it out of my old camera bag. Um, yeah, so, uh, alrighty, so let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna put it over here. Now that y'all gonna look at it, we're gonna go through it one by one, and let's see what, uh, what's in here. Okay. Okay. Okay, number one. Beats case. I don't know what's in there. Uh, I just set it in there for some reason. I uh, think there's something that goes in there. I'll uh, see if it's if I can find it in a little bit. So, set that aside. Okay, number one or number two, really, but really number one. We got some uh, pretty much like a little uh, toiletry uh, bag, which y'all are probably going to be saying in the comments that uh, you don't need toiletries if you're going to be surviving in the wild. But you know, just stay clean. Um, and uh, healthy in case anything happens, like uh, band-aids. If I was to um, get hurt when I'm out there by myself, because you don't want to go get help, figure it out yourself. Nope. Okay, so we got the bag. You can use this bag for pretty much anything. Um, I got it off of Amazon. It was, uh, I think, about five bucks. Pretty cheap. Um, it's got, uh, two pockets on the sides, and it's got a, it's got a big, uh, place in the center there, so let's set that aside. Okay, number one, heat wraps, in case I'm in any pain of anything. Another one. So I got three heat wraps. This right here, this, you're probably thinking is a little weird. Which, uh, yeah, it is somewhat weird. Um, I think it's actually heat wrap. Maybe. Maybe not. No, it's not a heat wrap. I think it's, um... Oh, it's, uh, it's to keep a band-aid on. So, um, say I had cut my arm right here. I would slap this band-aid on. And then I would take this, peel, peel the, the mesh off the bottom. And put this over the band-aid to keep it watertight. So, if I was to, um, was to need to do that, if I didn't have any other band-aids and I only had that. So, yeah, we got two band-aids, very, pretty big band-aids. Um, yep, yeah, okay, we got that. We got some gauze, medical gauze, um, some stretch rolled. See here, I open it up just to show y'all. It's, uh, pretty long. Um, it's, I think it's about... Let me see here. I'm going to wrap this back up. I've seen a lot of other people doing these survival videos, so I thought, um, you know, I'll, I'll show y'all my survival gear, and maybe I'll do some survival videos out there at my land. Maybe some coyote hunting. Um, but this is uh, single-use only, which, not really, but it's for hard to wrap areas, so... It is five yards of uh, gauze, so that'll be good. We have some salon paws right here for back, back ache, stiff neck, joint pain, or sore muscles. Um, I get that a lot, so I thought I would just carry this. So that's always a good deal. Got some toothpaste. No, no, you're probably going to say, where's your toothbrush? But uh, you don't need a toothbrush in the wild. You actually have your finger, which is a little harder for me since I have races. But um, it still works out somehow. Um, sometimes I will cut my finger. Uh, not usually, but we got some. Uh... Okay. All right. Hold on, y'all. 
going to cover this up because I can't show you all the other stuff yet because I don't want to spoil it. Never want to spoil anything. Well, y'all probably got a sneak little peek at that. That's another reason it comes in handy. So, so uh, Icy Hot. Um, yeah, Icy Hot is always good in case the Salon Paws does not work, which both of them have a very nice smell. It smells like, uh, I mean, it smells like stuff, um, but it's still very strong and, uh, you know, you're going to smell it. You're going to identify it pretty quick on what that is. So yeah, that's always good to have. Um, so let's just put it back in the bag. Hashtag stay organized. Because uh, it's easier to do it when you got it. So all my things go in there. And this is actually a, um, a dry bag. So um, it's uh, waterproof. It's made out of waterproof material. The same waterproof material that is put on a rain jacket. It's water resistant. It's not 100% waterproof but uh it works pretty good so yeah that's the first thing in the bag Stick it down there. Oh. number two we got some uh some sticky some sticky over tape um you can use this for many reasons uh i've actually used it to wrap my gun before and then i've uh well actually they made a camo one and i used that when i went hunting for coyotes which I did not film because I didn't have a YouTube channel yet, but y'all understand, so. Um, yeah, so this works great. Uh, you can put it on your arms. Uh, you can really put it in anything, like if you were going hunting, and I never take these bracelets off. They mean a lot to me. Um, I've never taken them off since I actually put them on. So uh, I've taken this before, and I've put one bracelet up here and one down here. And I put tape around there so that they're not rattling because, trust me, animals can hear things that are barely slight noises. So, like, that an animal could hear from probably a mile away. So, you're not going to want that. Okay. So, that's that. Okay. So, number three. We got a bandana. Now, this is what I was using to uh, actually... Mop up that icy hot, and uh, this could be for many reasons. Um, as a rag, which I used it for, which I probably need to clean now, but we'll do that later. I'll just talk about that. Um, so, yeah, really, it can just go anywhere. I've had this bandana for about five years now, and uh, I never did wear it as a bandana. I don't know why. Um, it just never got around to me to actually wear it as a bandana. But, uh, yeah. So, okay, there's that. Okay. These are like tissue paper rags. They are uh, military certified. I got them from my local military surplus store here. Um, yeah. They're, they're, they work good. It's like uh, they stay dry, so they're waterproof technically. And uh, yeah, so it's always good to have those. Um, you never go anywhere without gloves because uh, that could be dangerous. So I got what? Let's see. One, two, three... Uh, Four, five. Five pairs of gloves. That's good. We're just going to set those right there. Which actually I'm thinking about converting it into one of these big boxes because I feel like it might be way more convenient. So I might do that at the end of the video. Just stay tuned. Okay. So what is that? One, two, three. Number five right here. Number five. Um, I got in this Beats box, which I probably could find a smaller box, but, uh, I have an iPhone 5. Uh, it's my old iPhone. Um, yeah, there is a charger in the bag, if y'all are wondering. Uh, this is for emergency contact only. I downloaded a software on here to where, um, if I needed to call somebody, I can. Um, I pretty much put a payphone software on here. It's kind of confusing. But, uh, hold on, y'all.
Yes. Yeah. 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 Is there like a little grill that you can bring from your house here? Grill? Like a little grill. I don't have a little grill. Uh, what do you need to grill? The party's going to be here. Why? Because it's going to rain tomorrow afternoon. So the party's going to be here. What does that have to do with... What, what do you mean? Why can't we just do it at Shane? We're going to do it here. Well, no swimming then. We're going to do it here. Hey, where'd you get those ears? So I'm going to need they your help tomorrow.